Welcome to Bricks Nights. Today we're going to build a Lego machine to play with your cat. Let's do it. How's it going guys? Welcome back to Brick Science. Today we have a special guest who's trying to sleep. You're not asleep, you liar. Hey guys, welcome to Brick Science. My name is Riley and this is Minka. And this is our special guest for today. This is our cat. So all the time, Minky just wants to play. And would you stop? Minky just wants to play with stuff. So I thought, how can I play with her, but also do something that I actually want to do? Stay here. <laughs> and so I thought, okay, this is a great opportunity to build something out of Lego. So today I'm gonna build a machine, a robot in fact, that will play with my cat without me having to do anything. So here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna take a Lego EV3 with a cord that was in that for some reason. We're gonna take two motors for the driving and steering functions, a small motor, and not that cord because these already have cords on them. So we're gonna need a medium motor, two large motors, an EV3 brick, another cord to attach to, the, to this medium motor. We're also gonna be using the Lego EV3 iPad app, and then this thing is all just gonna mount together like so, and we're gonna have one thing right here that will make the, the thing move. So the plan is to have like a whip type thing on top that'll go whoosh, whoosh, back and forth. So essentially we'll just need this motor to control that, and should be pretty simple. Okay, so the way we're gonna do that is we're going to first grab long axles like these. We're gonna grab these pieces here and then we're going to connect these by simply putting them like this. And now when this whips around, it should have enough torque to whip it around. If it doesn't, uh, it's gonna be a sad, sad oof in the chat. So we're gonna plug this into the EV3 so we can test it. So you plug this into one and then we can put this on, I wanna have it on a little, Technic thingamajig. Also, I almost forgot, we're gonna start this timer up here. All right, and I set that four to two minutes since we kinda forgot to turn it on, my bad. So on here, we're gonna open a new program. So all we're gonna need this to do to start out, we're gonna click medium motor and drag it here because that's what we're using. We'll use, instead of number of rotations, we'll use uh, on for degrees so we can tell how far it's actually gonna go. So let's put in 180, which is half, so that's half of 360. And then we just gotta fix up this really simple mechanism. Okay, so now we have that connection. So if we select that right there, we can just test this out. And if it's gonna rotate 180 degrees, that's just like that. So we should probably actually go like more like 140. Let's actually adjust this to 140. Oh. Okay, so we're actually gonna plug this into A, not one, because one through four are for sensors and stuff. Uh, I've used Mindstorms before. 140 degrees, more like 100 degrees. It's too many. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's try it from from flat out like that. A little too much. Let's go. Let's go 80 degrees. If you guys couldn't tell, this video is more of a hey. Here's how to start programming with the EV3. Nice. So really simple, just to program it to do that. Now we just have to mount this to this, and that should be pretty simple too. Also, we need to make this thing calm enough so that it doesn't scare the cat away, because that would be bad. <laughs> and then let's actually copy, and let's paste it. And we'll just do the same thing again, but we'll go negative 75 power. Uh, alternatively, you could also go negative 80 degrees, but, you know, it's less fun. Okay, it's a little, it's a little, hmm. What let's actually do, let's grab this, which is a remote control. IR remote, and so let's, this is on. So we can actually program this, and the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna take, we'll put this all in a loop block. A loop block means it'll happen forever. And we'll put a wait block right here. Let's change this to infrared sensor compare, and then we'll hit remote, and then we can actually choose which button we want to activate. So if I wanted to go forward, for example, I'm gonna put this upper top button, so button ID one, and then that should essentially, if we drag that out of there. So that makes it go forward. And then if you hit it again, it makes it go forward again. I'm gonna fidget around with this for a while just till I figure it out. And negative 40, let's try that, let's, let's try that. Now tell me if you're a cat, this doesn't excite you. Look at how fun that would be. 
Now this will drive around and actually play with the cat. This is actually going really well. Okay, so we figured out the programming. Now we just need to program it to drive. <laughs> Now, I don't know what you're thinking. This is looking like an absolute pile of trash. <laughs> Why does that just look so weird? It looks like, it actually looks like a cat that's going like this. And, you know, you know how cats are. Guys, it is time for today's super special shout out. Today's super special shout out is Drew Luckett. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you watching my videos. If you want to get a shout out just like Drew, make sure you comment down below. Super shout out squad. And make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. If you do that, you may be chosen at random to get a shout out in the next video. So thank you, Drew. Again, appreciate you watching my videos. Back to building. Okay, so we attached some simple wheels. And I'm hoping that'll just work honestly like that if we put it on a flat surface. So, all right, let's try that. So this should go forward, hopefully. All right, so I found this thing, which is just a string attached to one of these weird mouse cat toys. So I'm gonna attach this to the top, and hopefully this will whip around. I'm gonna put it like, so it hangs off the ground a little bit. All right, so now we have this. What cat wouldn't wanna play with this, you know? It goes The hardest thing about building with Lego Technic is changing the direction of things. Like not even kidding, just changing the direction 90 degrees. Like it's super hard. Again, we wanna make it very low profile. Uh, I don't think anything scares our cat. Now that I think about it, but we still wanna make it low profile because in case it does. So I'm just kind of fidgeting with the programming until it starts working. Um, the issue we're having is not an issue of, hey, this thing doesn't work. It's actually an issue of me not knowing how to program Okay, so now this should work if we pause it, play it. Okay, we should have a working model. <laughs> we had a working model. Okay, so, oh, yeah, I forgot to set this to negative 1.5. All I have to do is rebuild this and we should have a fully functional model, just do a couple things. And then, let's go play with the cat. All right, guys, we just finished this just a minute ago. Here we go. Let's stop the timer with that thing that doesn't make noise yet. Put some noise behind that. We're still working on the mechanism and adding some cheaper poppers in there so that it pops. Anyway, this was super easy to make. Let's go see if Minky wants to play with it, I guess. <laughs> All right guys, so after a while of trying to get my cat to actually play with this thing, she's just really not amused. Uh, I got some shots in most of them. She just hides under or behind things. I'm not sure she knows it's supposed to play with her. So I do have another idea because I think she's afraid of the robot part. It kind of makes noises like I think she's afraid of that. So if you want to see part two of this video where I build a different Lego robot to play with my cat, I'm thinking of one that like hangs from the ceiling and then has a couple different patterns programmed in and it holds a long string and then she could play with that and we'll just make it strong enough to hold up there. <laughs> if you guys do want to see that like down below, if this video gets over 100 likes, I'll make that video. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you like and comment down below. Uh, I really honestly thought this would work, so kind of disappointed it didn't. But that is how videos go sometimes when you think, when you think something will work and it doesn't. Uh, but I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Riley and I'll talk to you next Brick Science. See you then.